Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking you guys through my shoe collection, but not just any shoe collection, my Christian Louboutin, as the French would say, or Christian Louboutin, or Louboutin, or Louboutin, or however you choose to say it in English. So I have loved these shoes since I can, god, I don't even know when. Uh, I fell in love with them, the whole red sole concept, I think that's pretty much why everybody falls in love with them, they're just such fierce awesome looking shoes and they're so eye-catching and I just love them. So I'm going to talk you guys through my first ever pair up until my most recent pair and I'll talk about kind of comfort, uh, price and all that. I'll try and touch on all of that. So if you've got a good eye you may have spotted them already. They are here behind me. Um, if you didn't spot them, no judgment. Uh, these are my noobs. I have two, four, six, eight pairs and counting. <laughs> uh, with uh, shoes you may know that it can vary in size. With one shoe you could be um, a five and another pair of shoes you could be a six or whatever your size is. So same thing with Louboutin shoes. I find that my size varies with a different style. And so I will tell you each size of each shoe that I have and explain a little bit more as I go on. So the first pair I ever got was a long time ago but this was my first pair. Then the Pigalle, on the box it says Pigalle black leather, they're in a 38, and they're the studded Louboutin Pigalle, uh, so the heel height is 100mm, these are in a 38, which is a UK 5, I'm not sure US, I believe it's a 7, I could be wrong, it could be a 7 or an 8 US, but European 38, they look like this, they've got studs, they're pointed, because they're the Pigalle, and then as you can see they've got a lot of wear, because I've worn them a lot, so I'm going to give you my honest opinion on each, each shoe, in terms of comfort, at first I found them kind of hard to walk in. Practice makes perfect with everything and it applies to shoes. So I would say in terms of comfort, they're probably 10 being the most comfortable, 1 being the most painful. A 6, I'd say, maybe even a 7. They're not highly uncomfortable because they're not the highest pigal. They don't have a really, really high arch. This was my first ever pair. They were £660 at the time. I believe they're a lot more money now. Uh, you won't be finding these for 660 I don't think, unless they're like consignment. I could be wrong, but I believe they're a lot more money now. Um, I will link a few similar pairs in the down bar if you're looking for this style. So we're going to be moving on to the second pair that I ever bought, which are in a much larger box. These are my Lady Peeps. So I got these also in a 38, because I didn't really know about the whole stretchy leather thing yet. The Lady Peeps that I got are patent and they're peep toe and they look like this as you can see these are probably my most worn shoe when I go out clubbing because of the height, uh, the style, I just love them, I feel like they're very eye catching, very sexy the patent with the red it just pops, works really well so I believe that these were around five, 500 pounds, 595 pounds I think um, I think that that should be correct. They're a peep. The only complaint that I have about this shoe, first of all, you can, it, it'll take a little bit of breaking in to actually be comfortable walking in them. I've practiced and practiced and practiced by wearing them. I think that's the best practice. And now I'd like to think I can march in them. They have stretched about a half size, I would say, which is really irritating because I have to do this. And put these on the inside of them to stop them from slipping because I've worn them so much. So I would recommend with a lube to get them in a half size smaller or even an entire size smaller if you're feeling brave, which I've done before. Again, I'll get to that. My third ever pair of Christian Louboutin shoes were purchased in Miami at Name and Marcus, I believe, in Dadeland Mall. And that is this next pair, which again are an all time favourite. I think I don't have one pair that I could choose as my favourite. So these ones are actually in a 38 and a half, believe it or not, so they're a half size bigger than my Lady Peeps, which have stretched, which is weird, right? You wouldn't think I'd get them in a half size bigger, but these ones actually pit, pit me, fit me perfectly. And I am such a big fan of this pair. So they are the Lady Daffs in beige. They look like this. They have a little Mary Jane strap on the front. They're kind of pointed, but not, if that makes sense. So it's like a rounded off pointed toe. They have a massive platform and a mahoosive heel. So these ones were $900, 900 and something dollars 
from Naaman Marcus and they are the Lady, Lady Daff 160 in beige which is kind of obvious now I'm not even gonna lie when I first got these shoes it was an ordeal were walking in though. It did take some getting used to, but Mr. Le Boutin himself said that he did not make his shoes for them to be comfortable, so he was right. <laughs> now, if you're a little bit more anal about your shoes than I am, you can buy protector stickers that go over the red, so it will prevent this from happening and they'll be completely red forever. I didn't really, I haven't really done that with mine. Uh, I don't feel the need to, but if you want to, then cool. I love these shoes so much. And my Lady Daffs are probably about a 5 out of 10 also I'd say when you first get them in terms of pain it's more the height that's difficult to adjust to and not falling over uh, I've never fallen over in them thank god but so I'd say a 5 again because they're pretty damn high <laughs> This next pair that I have here is also um, the Daff style, so the Daffodil style. These next ones are the Daffodil Brody 160 Crep. Now, these are in a 38 and a half, which kind of goes to show a pattern that in the Daffodil shoe, I'm a 38 and a half. It goes to show that if you have a particular style and you want to buy more of that style of Le Bouton, then you will most likely be the same size. So, these ones were a gift for my 20 second birthday um but as you can see they are like works of art these i believe were part of the 25 anniversary collection or is it 20 anniversary collection i think it's 20 anniversary yeah 20th anniversary collection but they didn't come in the 20th anniversary collection box i don't know so i'll take one i'll take them both out because these two actually are different so as you can see here is one side and They've got sequins, chains, studs, just so much going on. They're so busy, but they're just so beautiful. I don't know how much they were because they were a gift, but um, yeah, so I'll try and do some research and hopefully link it down below. Here's the other shoe, which has the other part of the address on one side, and then it has the Louboutin and some more fun detailing along the heel. Aren't these just so beautiful? I just... I would like to put them in a bell jar and have them on display. I would say probably a four to five. So they start off maybe a four and then get slightly more comfortable as your feet get more and more used to them. So they maybe go to like a five, five and a half. Uh, yeah. yeah. The next pair of lubes that I got are actually a very special pair. Not that any, all of the other ones uh, aren't. These are my wedding shoes. So these are the shoes that I got to wear on my wedding day. And they are the Very Riche 120 Suede Burma. They're in a size 38, a size 5. And they are slightly tight, but I wouldn't get them in any other size because you want your wedding shoes to stay on your feet. So depending on the style, if you do get a lube, I would uh, do your research and kind of try a few different sizes before you settle. They look like this. Ah. So these are the only pair of Swarovski Louboutins that I own because they were for um, our wedding and I don't think that there's any better occasion to invest in a pair of sparkly Louboutins and um, they're just amazing. I love them so much. On a comfort scale I'd say maybe a 3 or a 4 out of 10 initially uh, the more you walk in them and I suppose the more you just get used to it but the pain level just doesn't really like subside it kind of just stays but oh well we're women if you wear heels it's something that you just deal with uh, they're such a beautiful shoe I believe um, that these god I don't know exactly how much they are a couple thousand I will put them down below because I believe they're available on the net -a porte website if not, I will try and link them on the Le Bouton website, but aren't they just so beautiful? Only complaint with these shoes is they are extremely delicate and the crystals come off a lot easier than you would think. Just be extra, 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 extra careful. The next two pairs that I got are my most recent pairs. You guys would have seen these because I got them in America and I think I may have showed them. I showed one pair. 
So I'll start with those because I actually technically got them first. So I've been saving up for a long time to treat myself to some new lubes when we went on our honeymoon. And I'd originally planned to get a uh, really classic kind of everyday pair like the Pigals just in a plain nude leather or in a black leather or in the patent black or nude. But unfortunately they didn't have any of them in stock anywhere in Miami. Uh, so I had to spend a little bit more but it was okay because I saved up. And I got myself these ones which are called the Bengali 120 Velvet slash Pony Jungle Heel. I got these in a 37, which is a size 4, I'm usually a size 5 here in the UK. Uh, they didn't have them in my size, I was not leaving the shop without a pair of lubes because I've been saving for so long. So I invested in these and they do fit and they will give a little bit. I think if they were any bigger then they would end up too big, so I'm glad I got them in a 37. I should get them out. They look like this. So they are black velvet and they have a pony leopard heel. They also have this like beading detailing that goes up the sides of the shoe like you can see here and it also has it along the toe of the shoe. Focus on the shoe not on me camera. So you can see the detailing here and I have worn them. They are a little bit tight but they will give. So you can see a little bit here where my foot is slightly wider but that's okay it's okay because it works like a walk in them so it's fine <laughs> but these are the Bengalis so in a comfort point of view because they're slightly slightly small I would go with a five I guess I think with all my loops they're like a five or a six but yeah again I'm gonna stick to five and these were a thousand two hundred dollars um, I'm not sure how much they are in pounds, but like I will link all the information in the down bar for you lovely people. So those are the Bengalis. Which brings us to the next pair that I had not planned on buying, but I had money left over from the money that I'd saved to bring on a honeymoon to spend and to shop. And we were in Saks Fifth Avenue in Day... No, in Bell Harbor in Miami, and they do some lubes on sale. And I saw these ones, and they happen to be part of the 20 year co collection, anniversary collection. These are in a 37 and a half, so in a four and a half, but they fit me, and I love them. And I think these are a slightly more versatile pair in the sense that they work really well uh, day to night. The reason that they kind of work really well for both is because of the chunky heel, and a chunky heel can kind of cash up a shoe, if that makes sense. They're just like a plain kind of black material they're not leather they've got the 20 year kind of inside of the shoe and then they've got this matte gold chunky heel which i adore and i have a lot of stuff that has gold hardware so it's great because it goes really well with that and i just feel like these are like a marching pair you really can march in these lubes these were down from like a thousand three hundred or a thousand two hundred to five hundred dollars i think which is uh, significantly cheap for a 20 anniversary pair of the Christian Louboutin shoes so I had to get them so those are all of my lubes except I was extremely lucky to be gifted a pair for my 23rd birthday and that is my last and most recent pair almost dropped the box there styled it out a little bit so these are in a 37 which is a size 4 again these ones probably are a little bit too small but they fit great the reason i got them in the 37 i tried on the 37 and a half while i was in america because they had those and my foot was slipping out the back so i figured i should get a 37 and they'll stretch a little bit over time and fit perfectly so that's what i did and they were a gift from the lovely nia from nia says thank you so much i don't not even gonna go there because you know how appreciative i am but she got me an everyday pair of lubes not too high they're the 100 milliliter milliliter millimeter pair so they're not incredibly difficult to walk in all black leather with the classic red sole and I've worn these quite a lot because they are extremely versatile day to night they could work really well with some denim cutoffs and a plain white tee or they could be worn with a really elegant dress so I just think they're very versatile and if you're thinking about investing in your first pair of lubes I would definitely go with a classic pair unless you want to just be like 
plug it and get like a really fun colorful pair do it but if you're looking for one of their cheaper pairs that you could wear uh, maybe day and night i would definitely recommend the pigals just remember that no matter what pair you get your feet are going to hurt and you're going to have to get used to them so just make sure it's a pair that you really really love and that work well for you that is my christian louboutin video now there are no boxes behind me they're all over here but I hope you guys enjoyed it and before I go, please don't take this video as bragging. It's probably one of my highest requested videos and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I don't think I need to buy any more pairs of lubes anytime soon, but who knows. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Peace. Bye guys.